welcome to another midweek meditation. I hope this week has been good to you so far. This morning as I was in reflection and meditation, I wanted to be sure that I created a space that I can hear and that I can sense the peace that I'm striving for this morning. This morning, I'm going to start off with just quoting Psalm 1, Psalm 100. It says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. So we enter into a space of thanksgiving and with praise of all the things that are great. And along with that, we're going to acknowledge today, this begins the National Hispanic Heritage Month, and and I'd like to quote uh, some words this morning from Adriano Espalat. He said, National Hispanic Heritage Month is not only a strong reminder that our country is bettered by our diversity, but a reminder that Hispanic heritage is American heritage. And then secondly, we want to acknowledge today uh, as our Jewish community celebrates Yom Kippur, which is the holiest, most important day of the year in Judaism, known as the Day of Atonement. And it begins at sundown Wednesday and ends tomorrow the last day, last of the 10 days of penitence that begin with Rosh Hashanah which is the Jewish New Year for those of you who don't know what that is it's Yom Kippur commemorates the day that Moses came down from the Mount Sinai after seeking God's divine forgiveness for the Israelites who sinned against him by worshipping a golden calf idol And throughout the 10 days of repentance leading up to Yom Kippur, those practicing Judaism have been reflecting on the personal aspects of the past year, deciding how to improve, seeking forgiveness, and showing compassion to others. I just mentioned that in part. There's so much more to share on that. I just felt today let's do that as well let's reflect but let's reflect with thanksgiving of the past year of yesterday and then also today let's reflect on how we can improve Also giving thanks for what we are, who we are now. And then we seek forgiveness. Jesus instruct us, instructs us to forgive 70 times seven in a given day. <laughs> So whatever you might be holding on to today, let it go. Forgive, live, and let live. And as my colleague is posting in the chat, as you can see, we're going to focus on rest today. Right now, I just feel a presence in my room (laughs) that's inviting me to rest. And that rest of forgiveness and being able to show compassion to others, to love my brothers, my sisters, 
get that rest, to achieve the rest, and to start to embrace the rest, let's breathe. So I invite you now right where you are to steal yourselves. Give yourself permission at this moment to do absolutely nothing. And take a deep breath. And let it go. Reflect on something good today as you achieve this rest. Take a deep breath. And let it go. There is nothing so important right now that you can't stop and take a breath and care for yourself. Come on, let's take another one. You are good right where you are. You are important. You are here. You are whole. There's nobody like you. Come on, let's breathe again. And let it go. There's something I want to read to you this morning, and it's taking out, taken out of a book by Miles Monroe about rediscovering worship. It said, I will sing of your strength in the morning. I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in time of trouble. That's from Psalms. One of uh, fifty nine and sixteen, Psalm fifty nine and sixteen. Another verse says, taken from Psalm sixty three one and two. O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My body longs for you. In a dry and weary land where there is no water, I have seen you in the sanctuary and behold your power and your glory. So part of that rest is beholding the presence of God. And I'm going to read this piece to you. It's a prayer. And it's taken out of Psalm 23. Yes, we're going to stay in Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. The prayer goes like this. My God, you are an awesome God. Even when I was, before I was born, you had a plan for my life. You are the Alpha and Omega who sees my tomorrows when I can't face today. You are the Father and faithful one who seeks your sheep. Even when I wander from the paths you have chosen for me. You are the tender one who comforts me when I am sad or lonely and heals me when I am hurt. 
You are the forgiving one who looks beyond my failures to what I yet can be. You are the loving and merciful one who loves me even when I am unlovely and does good to me despite the fact that I don't deserve it. So I just want you to rest in that for a moment. And then the rest of the prayer says, come on, let's breathe first. Exhales. I shall not want because you are always meeting my needs. You have given me a good mind so I can learn things quickly. You have given me a job I like and an employer who is understanding and fair. You have blessed me and my family with a warm, dry place, an abundance of food in our refrigerator and cupboards. We never go hungry or lack food or clothing or our necessities for the day. You have provided for our needs. Thank you for being so good to us. Thank you for providing even more than we need. And this morning, the song that came to my mind, and I'll leave you with this in our few, last few moments together. And I, I just compiled and composed this medley of three songs. And it goes like this. No, never alone No, never alone You promise never to leave me Never to leave me alone No, never alone No you are not alone God is here with you he may seem far away but he is here to stay you are not alone God is here for you you're never far apart you're always in his heart so you are not alone hallelujah you are not alone as you continue to rest he's your
Go in peace.